My name's Matthew Buckley. My call sign as a fighter pilot was Wiz. I served the United States Navy on active duty for 10 years and then flew fighters in the reserves for six years. Being a fighter pilot for the United States Navy was the culmination of a dream. Dogfights at supersonic speed on the edge of consciousness, life and death situations created stress, trauma, depression, anxiety, and fear. Potentially healed me, and I was in a bad place. I wish you could have seen me. I mean, it, the, the before and after was, was profound. You know, I joined at 17. Even with all the classes, even with all the training, it just, the, the, the gravity of doing what we did for 20 some years was just heavy. And it weighs on me. It's like a giant backpack full of crap. You know, we all have bad relationships. We all have, you know, we all have things that happen. Doesn't matter whether you're a fighter pilot or whether you're a, a CEO or whether you're a filmmaker, it makes no difference. The stuff that gets said impacts the kids. We've had a relationship off and on, but the last, last five, almost six years, nothing. <laughs> Tom Bart. Um, I was a uh, F-14 guy, uh, Top Gun graduate, strike lead, and uh, I loved every minute of it. And. Um, I never got out of the cockpit for four squadrons in a row, so uh, I was a little amped when I when I left the Navy. My intention here is to just stop, stop dampening it with destructive self-behavior. The the military does an incredibly good job of of training you for combat and and doing some pretty horrible stuff to another human being, and then when they're done with you they do a pretty shitty job of transitioning you back to being a human. So I wasn't processing those traumas. I wasn't dealing with them. Uh, and unfortunately for a long time, I was numbing them out with illicit drugs and all kinds of other stuff, so. And I see that in many of my friends now. You know, there, there are lots of things, whether concussive bombs went off near us and, you know, sent shock waves through us or whatever it was, it's these accumulated traumatic brain injuries that really, that really change your mind. That I am finally opening the door and taking a step. This plant medicine has been around for thousands and thousands of years. It took me on a journey downrange with these four other incredible men, human beings, veterans. Uh, as a result of the medicine, I literally found God. I took the Ibogaine. It was like I got lifted up and then I exploded into forever. I felt infinity. I was like, I want to see the masks, right? The masks that I've been wearing and, you know, everyone puts the mask on, right? You got to be raw with people. You got to be open. You got to be honest and quit the fucking sugar cutting, right? And so he goes, okay, here's three masks. And I, I grab them. I'm like, okay, he goes, put them in this box. And he burns it. <laughs> I just, I think that's when I purged. But I can definitely feel the presence of spirit and the presence of sources. Because we started out sitting cross-legged with our rattles, looking in a mirror with all this crazy music and everyone's going shuka, 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 shuka and that rhythm, like, it just kind of teases things up and I felt it coming on and I went, oh shit, this is too much. That's when I put my eye shades on and I laid down. And for a few minutes, I just focused on breathing and just trying to remain calm and just trying to accept the medicine and it just keeps coming. I mean, it just keeps coming, this stuff is powerful can't be throttle all the time you got to back it off and slow down and take care of yourself and cool off and that's just something i'm really bad at so it was nice to feel what happens in this world is beyond logic And when these heroes move from the speed of sound to the speed of life, 
the job really gets dangerous because so many of their wounds are invisible. Emotions get suppressed as a means of survival. Daniel Summers, who served two tours in Iraq, took his own life. He was just 30 years old. Sadly, he is not the first veteran to do so. 8,000 U.S. veterans commit suicide each year. That's an average of 22 per day. We're here to tell you this is not the way out. Literally 52 years of fucking ego, of regret, shame, pain, death, alcohol, drugs, disintegrated in the blink of an eye. I exploded into light, energy, love, indescribable. I can guarantee you that when you do the medicine, that it's going to go inside you and it's going to scrub away all the stuff that you have in your life that's painful, that's, a sh that's shaming, that's whatever word you want to put in there. It's going to go in there and cleanse your body so that you can start with a new canvas. That's God doing that. He's using the medicine to do it. And so I'm really looking to provide people that or at the end of their road, another option and, and give them some hope. That's, that's my bliss is seeing other people, you know, take that step and move out. And, and I just know in the community I came from, people won't do it unless somebody they know and love has done it before them. This project is, is filling a need for me to be a part of something bigger than myself. I got, you know, 54 years of counseling in a 12-hour period with the medicine. But here's the one thing I want to make sure everybody understands about it. I recognize, I realize my work has not even started, right? For me, I'm not talking about how we're going to end veteran suicide. We are. That's a done deal. It was, it was peace. It was a peace that I have never felt before. We're going to be saving lives. We're going to be changing attitudes. No higher purpose, no higher calling than helping your fellow woman, helping your fellow man. On May 27th, with the opening of Maverick Top Gun, we step out of the cockpit into the real life stories of decorated pilots. We're gonna heal everybody, not just veterans. Nobody is left behind.